it's David and Brian from VM Blog, and we're here in San Diego. And we're covering the KubeCon uh, Cloud Native 2019 conference, and here's some of the highlights from the show. KubeCon 2019 in San Diego, and we're visiting with Chef. Um, can you tell me a little bit about the company and what you're showing here at KubeCon? Absolutely. I'm Corey Scobie, I'm the CTO at Chef, and we're here at KubeCon. Many of you probably know Chef from our pioneering days in the DevOps space around infrastructure automation. Today, Chef really has offerings across infrastructure, security, and application operations as well. And uh, we're here showing uh, what the new chef is, is really all about. Okay. And so how do you fit into the Kubernetes uh, ecosystem and what specific problems do you solve? Yeah, that's a great question. So um, we've seen this obviously here at KubeCon. It's a massive event now. Cambrian explosion of Kubernetes technology. Um, we at Chef have developed a, a, a specific technology called the Habitat Project. Habitat is about application packaging and deployment. And one of the things it does incredibly well is creates a separation between the operating system dependencies and the, and the things that the application needs to actually be successful in its environment. And how that relates to Kubernetes is when you take an application and you package it with Habitat, you do so in a way that you can spit out the leanest, cleanest, most efficient Kubernetes container possibly imaginable. And really, the scale of Kubernetes is about having efficiency at that container level. So applications packaged with Habitat and used on Kubernetes work as efficiently as humanly possible. And I understand you had some changes to your open source model uh, earlier this year. Can yeah, in April of this year we announced uh, some pretty big changes for Chef. Over the years we've developed a number of different projects. Um, many, some of them were open source. We had also some proprietary software. We announced in April that we've committed ourselves to 100% open source software development. So all of the product development that we do, all the software that we development that we do is uh, open source under the Apache 2 license. In uh, April 2020, uh, and in April 2019, we actually made a change um, to the commercial distribution of our software as well, where the commercial distributions come with commercial license. And so that change is actually impending um, with the end of life of Chef 14 and Inspect 3 in April of 2020. So we just want to make sure everybody is aware of that, that are our Chef users out there. Great. And uh, would it be possible for us to take a look at the product, maybe get a demo? Absolutely. Love to show you a demo. Come on over. So what are you going to show us? Uh, I'm going to take a, we're going to take a little bit of a, a, a touch dive into Habitat, which is really the Kubernetes part of our enterprise application stack. Great. So if we take a look at this, what's happening here is we're actually going to enter um, the Habitat Builder service. And so this is how you go about actually packaging and building an app. Um, the, the studio is a clean room that allows you to essentially create the simplest baseline container uh, portion before you lay your application down. In this particular demo, what we're doing is we're building an app that we're putting into a Kubernetes container and actually deploying it out to environment. The app is called National Parks, um, and the builder service pulls all of the application uh, dependencies together and puts them together into a package that we can then deploy either natively or into a Kubernetes cluster. And so, you know, the beauty of Habitat is that it allows you to package an application and deploy it to either a bare metal environment or a uh, VM or, or directly to the cloud or to a Kubernetes cluster and the same artifact works for all of that stuff. So here you see the, uh, the National Parks app actually running. And this is a, a quick look at the builder service, which gives you a number of different channels for deployment on the artifact of the application, et cetera. So that's a quick look at Habitat. Great. And where can people go if they want to find out more information about Chef? Chef.io. That's, uh, that's our home base. You can get to all, of, all, all thing, good things Chef at Chef.io.